All right, so I just got this in the mail. The Righteous righteous Stunts, I think it is. It's an RSC lever. This is the Three Finger Trigger Series uh, in gold, obviously. Um, this thing just feels awesome, to be honest with you. I haven't had a whole lot of different levers, but I'm really happy with just how this looks and feels. And it's going to look a million times better than this, especially as you can see, mine's uh, kind of bent. Um, the bike looks totally different. I had a little bit of a problem, but that's neither here nor there. So, in order to put this on, all we're going to need, I have an 8mm so we can get these off, and it's it's everything. It's the clamp and everything. So everything you see here is gone, and it's just going to bolt right on, and we just got to get the cable on there. So, that being said, this is all you're going to need. It's an 8mm socket, and then to get this on, it is a 5mm hex. So I get the cable off and then we'll throw this on and that's really all there is to it. Alright, so even though running this lever, we obviously don't need any of this, but I highly suggest you keep it. Don't just chuck it, because God forbid, like, you know, if you end up that one, something happens to that one, and you need to put the stock one back on, or maybe if you decide to sell the bike and you want to bring it back to stock, like, I save all my stock parts for just that reason, just in case. So, just to be safe, since you don't need any of it, put that right back together, and then we just forget about it. Alright, so now to get the cable out, you have the lock nut here, and a little adjuster screw here. And you'll see there's there's little alleyways in this here here and then the anchor goes right in here so what i'm going to want to do take this off and you want i'm going to i mean my situation looks like it's a tight fit so i'm going to want to bring this all the way back and bring this as close as i can to try to get some clearance to pull the cable out so now let's see let me go back again. Now look. All right. See how I made a perfect path for it. Pull out. And just like that. Now this trash is out here. All right. So same way I got the stock one off. I'm gonna get this one on. So you can see a little bit easier here. You can see where the adjuster screw is. As I loosen, it backs it out more, which obviously gives it more distance that it has to travel. So I want this as close as I can. And then once it's on there, we'll adjust it. So right there should be about good. Get this straight alleyway across. And like I said before, I, I believe this is easy pull if you put it in this one here. And this should be closer to stock. I believe, I'm, don't quote me on that, but I think that's what it is. So either way, it's more of a preference thing. I'm gonna put it in the top one that should be closer to stock. So. What I'm going to do, let's see, so I'm going to get that in there, make sure everything's still lined up, there you go, so I'm just going to leave it like that for now, I'm going to bolt this onto the bike and then once it's on, I'll adjust it all. All right, so a few last minute changes. I just got this bolted up, adjusted, and I took it out for a ride, and it feels way better. Um, it's definitely a lot easier to pull. I did actually put it in the other notch. I'll show you. So I actually took it off, and I put it in this lower notch here. Originally, I put it in this one, so I didn't try it with it up here, but I put it in the lower one, and it definitely pulls back a lot easier, and I do like it a lot more. Like getting an easy pull clutch lever, you might as well use it like that. Um, also, I took that little set screw out. It's just an eight millimeter nut and then the whole thing just screws out. Uh, someone said you really don't need it. I don't know what it does, but a lot of people take them off and I could put the, uh, the controls a lot closer, like how it is stock. So that's a lot easier for me. And also, oh, one other thing. So I just left these off. They're just dangling like it's not the best idea. What some people do is they put a little fuse, like they'll get, I think they said anything over a three amp. 
and just stick the two ends of the fuse in there and then tape it up and kind of tuck it out of the way i just left them hanging i'm gonna tape them off and put them out of the way but it works either way i think the only difference is that i want to say if you have it in gear and you go to start it it won't work if you have the clutch in so but when you jump these then it'll start with or without the clutch in so you just got to watch i always have it in neutral when i start it like even if i'm sitting on it i like to just have it in neutral so it really doesn't affect me but it's something to be aware of and now this to adjust it so this is your actual let me see so this is the little adjuster piece here if you look inside it's like a bolt and there's a little I, I can't think of the word at the moment lock nut i guess you can call it so basically have this loose now the more you back this out the more it's going to push the cable so the tighter it's going to be so i actually had it in adjustment so right now it's way too tight see that it's it's pulling the entire time what i've always heard is that you want about an eighth of an inch of play so i'm gonna tighten the bolt essentially bring it a little closer now look that's all the free play that which is a whole lot you don't want that but right here is free play that's where it starts engaging so it's, it's really not even fully engaging the clutch so let's back it out a little more it's definitely better but some people actually like to I'm only I got one hand on this right now so they'll pull it back and loosen it kind of give you a better idea that's about that's about where I want it maybe a little more all right that should be good so that's the actual clutch pull this is the free play if you have it too tight you'll basically always be on the clutch and it's gonna burn it out really quickly if you have it too loose you're never really gonna fully engage the clutch and you're gonna blow it up so don't do that and then just tighten this just hand tight so that way it doesn't move and you're good to go but yeah I definitely like it like I said I do kind of wish I got the four finger one but that's just my preference um everything from four to one finger sizes trigger series which has this lip or not a bunch of different colors but overall I like it easy to put on too so it's a RSC levers if you guys are interested just check them out he's got a whole bunch of different stuff the only thing I don't like is he only has clutch levers no brake levers but either way still definitely a good investment so yeah that's it